Hi there, this is Jen and thanks so much for stopping by today. Today I have a really fun card using some Visible Image products. Um, at least I think this card is fun. I will tell you what inspired me uh, to make this card as the video goes on. But I'm using a piece of 6x6 six six Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I'm going to start out with this stencil. It is called Skull Shadow. Um, and it's a really cool stencil. Originally I thought I might make a Halloween card, but I changed my mind. So I'm going to start out blending a little bit of weathered wood distress oxide over the entire panel. One of the base colors after I finish with the weathered wood color, I'm going to go ahead and grab the distress oxide in antique linen. And this is basically going to be the base for the skulls. And it might be kind of weird to say, but I think it just gives a really pretty like ivory white um, bone color <laughs> or color for the skulls. And once I finish with those colors, I'm going to add a little bit of aged mahogany distress ink uh, around the edges. And so I'm just trying to stay pretty much on the edges. I didn't want too much of that to get into the actual uh, stencil where the skull is going to be. And once I finish up with that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the stencil. So I'm going to place it on the left hand side first. And I'm going to start out with some frayed burlap. And I'm going to take this ink and go around the edge. And this is the distress ink. So I'm going to take my blending tool and go around the edges to kind of highlight where that skull is. And I started with the blending brushes, um, but then I moved on to the finger dauber just because it was a lot easier to uh, work with the finger dauber since it can get into a smaller space uh, better than a blending brush. Um, um, if you wanted to, you could totally take a sticky note or a piece of paper and mask off like the eye and the nose where uh, you wouldn't want color, but I just decided to try to be extra careful not to get color in that area. And then once I have that outline, I'm going to take the uh, antique linen again and I'm just going to go over a little bit darker on the eye and the nose and the mouth area. And then I'm going to come in with a distress ink in tea dye and then once I have that I will go in with the ground espresso in the distress ink and then I'm just going to either blend it with my finger or take a blending brush and just kind of blend those colors together so there's that a nice even blend of the colors and then once I am happy with that first impression of the stencil, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over so I get the opposite side of the stencil. And I'm going to overlap the, the skulls on the top a little bit. And then I'm going to follow the exact same process. I'm using the same colors um, in the same areas uh, just to make that as like the other uh, skull image as possible. And then to add another layer, I'm going to grab some of the Distress Ink and Aged Mahogany, which is the same color that's already down around the edges. I'm just going to apply that a little bit darker. And I'm using the stencil called Dark Hearts. And I'm putting that mainly around the outside edges. And then I do put a heart right in the middle of those two skulls. And then I'm going to grab this flower stamp set from, or this flower stamp from the set called Create It. And I'm going to stamp in each of the sockets with the um, flower image. And I'm using some VersaFine black. And I'm going to cover that with some clear embossing powder and then heat set that. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this card. And then I was thinking about the the show that I watched. It's called Fear the Walking Dead. And it's coming back on on Sunday, but I have AMC Plus, And so we get it the episodes a week early and so if you watch that show then you'll know when you watch this week's episode uh, where I got the idea from um, but they take the, some flowers and put it in the zombies um, sockets after they have killed them of course and so that's kind of where I got the idea for the flowers and the eyes but I think it really turns out super pretty um, next I went ahead and I took some pixie powder in candy pink and I just sprinkled a little bit on each flower and then I'm spritzing it with water to get that color to move around. And then I grab my heat tool and dry that up. And then if there's any blobs of ugly color that I don't like or just excess color, I'm just going to take my baby wipe and blot that up. 
And to make it more dimensional, I went ahead and I colored an additional two flowers. And I'm just going to take some foam dots and pop those up over the image that is already there. But I'm not going to center those exactly straight on the flower that's already stamped. I'm just going to move that a little bit so you can see extra petals underneath. And then once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my Misty. And I am using some VersaFine Clair and Morning Mist. And so I'm just going to stamp that twice. I'll stamp it off first on a sticky note. I wanted it to be really light and not intrusive. And so I went ahead and uh, used the second generation stamping to go ahead and get a really light uh, sentiment that says No Regrets. And that is from the No Regrets stamp set. And now I'm going to take my Tombow a Sand Eraser and I'm adding a little bit of distress around the edges. So basically, I'm just rubbing off the color that's already there and this was super helpful for adding that highlight on the skull um, so basically I am just again removing that color and it's adding that really nice highlight over the top of the skull um, and that is it that is my card for today I hope you enjoyed if you did like this video or find it informative please go ahead and give me a thumbs up as always I thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you next time